But hey guys, how you doing? So, I'll get a haircut one day, please stop bullying me. Okay, so I've been watching Shane Dawson's series about Jake Paul. It's been good, but one of the more interesting things that popped up was this dude, Justin Roberts. I thought he looked familiar, so I racked my brain and then I remembered, ah oh yeah, he was in a Drew Gooden video where he went to a Jake Paul concert and basically just documented how bad the whole thing was. Okay, so you may be wondering, who is Justin Roberts? Where did he come from? Uh, me too. He's one of these new Team 10 members after like everyone left. Um, no one really knows where they come from. They, they just kind of pop out of the ground like a fungus. Okay, now a big reason I know this guy is because of the song he made, Six Figures. So let's have a look. Like E.T. Selling out arenas just to see me. So okay, so already, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of this. Why did that actually say like E.T.? Hold on. Okay, so like E.T. Selling out arenas just to see me. Does E.T. sell arenas? Right, so I think he just wanted something that rhymes with me, so... E.T.? Yeah, sure, write that down. Okay, and selling out arenas just to see you. I don't want to be a dick, but that was kind of a Jake Paul concert. What, like, who was there for Justin Roberts, really? Six figures I was only for Six figures I was only for So much money I can see the floor And now you might be thinking, I'm thinking too, uh, six figures since he was four years old. That's pretty impressive. Surely it's all self-made. Surely he's, you know, entirely self-made man and we should all be respecting him. L let's continue and we'll, we'll revisit this later. Got a speeding ticket, I don't go to court. Nah. She was really lame, she made me bored. So I had to kick her out the door. I always eat at no boo. She asked me, can I come? I said, no boo. She just said, hurt you. I ain't even say bless you. He didn't even say bless. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, th I knew we were dealing with a pretty mental dude, okay? But oh, he didn't even say bless you? What? Does he not even say excuse me as well? Please, thank you, none of it? Holy... He really doesn't care, does he? Wow! And have you ever seen a guy look more out of place than this guy in this music video? He's just kind of there. Are my pizza rolls ready yet? I'm not even old enough to vote. Making history, you should take a note. Ask for a fee and you gotta- That delivery was- was very goofy, I would say. Making history, you should take a note. You should take a note. Not even old enough to vote. My grandma said no. Thank God my grandpa is the Pope. He's the Pope. On top the bike like E.T. So what? What was that? What was that line? What? What? Well, who's your grandpa? Who's your grandpa? Thank God my grandpa is the Pope. He's the Pope. Your grandpa's the Pope. Your, your grandfather's. Yep. Is that? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Most of these lines, like there's a line he wants to add in, and then the next line is just something that he writes in just to make it rhyme with the last one. And of course, the mini Jake Paul kid is here as well. I, I too love some child exploitation. And now just real quick, I've got a question for you, okay? If you didn't make six figures when you were four years old, um, not everyone's as much of a prodigy as Justin Roberts, but regardless of that, you want to be looking and feeling your best. Well, I would like to introduce you to today's sponsor, Vincero Watches. And now Vincero's mission is to deliver high quality, stylish timepieces at a reasonable price, and that they deliver on. I can vouch for that. And now Vincero directly translates to I will win. So if you want to make like Justin over here, then uh, then be sure to cop one of them, yeah? And now with Vincero Watches, I, I've been wearing mine quite often and I do like it like a lot genuinely. The company has been really great to work with and they have an attention to detail that I really love. They're able to give the look and feel of watches that are much 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 more expensive at a fair and reasonable price. So follow the link in the description and use code SLAZO to get 15% off your order. That's a good deal for a good product for a good boy. So uh yeah there we go. Let's continue with the video. Okay so obviously our boy Justin Roberts which which might be the least cool name I've ever heard. I wouldn't even point that out if it weren't for his general sense of uncoolness. Like, he's just... Like, look at him. Right, but obviously, despite this, he's a very, um... You know, he's a person to be admired. So I'm just Googling him, looking at his profile. I go down to the bottom. Oh, Justin Roberts' parents. 
Okay, um, look, his father, Mark Roberts, former sport agent, who's... Okay, here's a Wikipedia page, um, basically, in a nutshell, his dad's rich, um, where'd you get that money, what kind of businesses were you starting at age four, um, what's happening here, Justin? He's gone out of his way to make a song bragging about how he did not earn a cent of his own money. This is a next level of rap, okay? All the, uh, all the rappers, you know, the rags to riches kind of stories that most rappers peddle. Like, you know, I was broke, then I worked hard, I worked my ass off, I, I became rich, okay? Um, broke. Now, Justin Roberts figured out the new formula, okay? It's... Okay, guys, so basically... I did nothing, okay? I just sat here and received a hundred grand at age four. But hey guys, look at my complete lack of individual merit or talent. Um, like and subscribe, hit the notification. Like, I think he's just looked at other people, other rappers, and just thought, okay, what do these have in common? Uh, well, a lot of them are bragging about money, right? So I'll do that. But he misses the key part of it, which is th that's money they made. Th th they're not saying, hey, I got I got money off my dad's hedge fund. <laughs> and I Justin also vlogs, and we get a bit of a, a peek into his life as a Team 10 member, and somehow, through some magic of his, <laughs> it somehow seems that he is annoying even to Jake Paul. Still sleeping. Oh, he's getting up, he's getting up. What's up, Roberts? Nothing much. We're about to land soon. I'm so glad you woke me up to- yeah, thanks, thanks. Thanks, Roberts. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you're in Team Tenor, Roberts. Alright, and in this video, um, $40 million private jet, which is self-made, by the way. We have maybe the saddest part in any of this. Well, I'm back at my hotel right now. Um, everyone left me. But anyway. Why would you include that in the vlog? Hey, guys, ever everyone ditched me. I'm- I'm generally disliked. Got these drone shots. Well, I'm back at my hotel right now. Um, everyone left me. But anyway, why don't you guys check out these drone shots? Well, I'm back at my hotel right now. Um, I hope you guys like those. Casey Neistat, look and learn, boy. The shit, like the understanding of filmmaking that Justin Roberts displays here is kind of staggering. When you cut to the B-roll, it is always a good idea to just loop the audio from before. Oh, anyway, I got this footage earlier, I'd just like you to see it. Um, oh, anyway, I got this footage earlier, I'd just like you to see it. Um, oh, anyway, I got this footage earlier, I'd just like you to see it. Um, oh, anyway, I got this footage earlier, I'd just like you to see it. I'm a weird kind of person. Oh, cool thing that I actually did was when we were at the NASCAR race, there was a bolt on the floor in the um, in the pit. There was like a million of them. Probably not that special, but I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Slides out vlogs here. I just wanted to show you this this really cool thing I found on the ground just now. It's like really cool. Anyway, anyway, smash like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Like as much as you may dislike Logan and Jake Paul, at least in their vlogs, things are actually happening. <laughs> like, like these are just the most. Mm. Difficult to sit through vlogs I've ever seen. Come on, dude, just throw a plate at the ground or something. Even that would be better than this at this point. And then we see his grandparents. That is not the Pope. Thank God my grandpa is the Pope. Grandpa, say hello to the Rob Mob, Grandpa. Justin, I trusted you. I trusted you, Justin. And what have you done? You stabbed me in the back. That's not... You stabbed me in the back. You went and stabbed me in the heart, Justin, right here. Justin, you told me your granddad was the Pope. I believed it, okay? I did believe it. It was a great line that made a lot of sense in the context of that song. It was a really sick line. But it turns out, after all this, after all we've been through, it was a lie. I... I can't believe you, Justin, okay? I... Justin... I didn't want to have to do this, but I have to leave the Rob Mob now, okay? I can't be a part of this, this web of lies. Okay, and he's also dabbled in a bit of Instagram comedy, and I won't lie, some of it's better than most. Raspberry vinaigrette. Hot sauce. Yeah? Your number? Like, with this, it's actually not that- like, there's actually a joke, there's a punchline, there's delivery. It's pretty solid, but let's talk about this one. Hey! You're in my spot. 
Yo, I must have dozed off, but I, I heard you were recording a song and I just came here to meet you. When? What day is it? Wednesday. Yo, I've been here since Sunday. I am super hungry. Do you have like a sandwich in your pocket or even gum? Why are you sleeping in my parking spot? Yo, I'm doing some social media stuff and I really want to do a video with you. You seem cool, but I'm pretty busy. Too late. They see me rolling. Hey, I didn't authorize this. And that's it. That's the end of the video. That was sick. Um, I'll be honest. I. I don't think this is scripted. I think this is just his actual interaction with Jacob Sartorius. It's it's how he got into Team 10 as well. He just annoyed them and annoyed them until they were like, fine, let's let the kid in. Oh, and also, just to top it all off, I've just seen this comment. Uh, Who agrees Justin doesn't get paid enough? Uh, apparently 12 people did. Yeah, and I agree. You know what? If anyone needs some more money splash their way in life, it's Justin Roberts. It's the dude whose dad bought his way into Team 10. It's the dude who has a $15,000 ring with his own logo on it. It's that guy. He doesn't get paid enough, dude. He's living... Like, he's just scraping by, okay? Help this poor soul out. God knows he needs it. Anyway, there we go. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I have a lot. I like bullying other people. If you did like the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And just a reminder, vincero.com slash slazooctober. Link below. With code SLAZO, 50% off your order. Mwah. Mwah. That's... That's what I call a deal. Uh, anyway, if you do have any other video suggestions, things like that, be sure to comment them below. And... I will see you in the next one.